guys, what's up? Today we're gonna talk about this holster from Warrior Land. Warrior Land, it's a duty series outside the waistband Kydex holster with retention. Haha, <laughs> so let's talk about it. Okay, so um, not very long ago, I'm not sure when these videos would be out, maybe I'll post them at the same time, but I was sent a holster by Warrior Land that was an inside the waistband holster, and I thought at the time in the video that I was receiving both the inside and the outside the waistband holsters, what happened in, re in reality, in the real world, is they sent the outside the waistband holster in a different package and it arrived separately, like the day after I shot the video. So, if I sounded demeaning or whatever in the first video talking about the inside the waistband holsters, thinking I was supposed to get this guy, that's why, that's why. And I'm sure everybody that watched that video will watch this video, right? No, probably nobody. But what we're gonna say is that I am looking at this as, as um, constructively critical as I can. I'm just not sure that's the correct term or whatever, but I'm, I'm giving these guys a good fair shake, all right? I'm trying to as best I can. Now, backing up a little bit, should have said this at the very beginning, they did send me, Warrior Land, they did send me both this holster and the other inside the waistband holsters for purposes of making content video for you guys, all right? I am at complete liberty and I make sure anybody that sends me stuff knows this and I will stand by this. I'm at complete liberty to say whatever I wanna say about these products. If it's a bad product, I'm gonna tell you guys that this is like an airsoft thing. I wouldn't use this on anything real. This is just something that, you know, cool, but you know, I'm not gonna use it. There's been products where I've done that because I said I'd make a video, but it didn't live up to the snuff, right? But then there's some things that I get that I'm like, wow, this is actually something that I would use and actually something that I, I wear or I use, right? So we'll see how this guy works out. And what I'm trying to say is I am honest with you guys to the best of my ability. I am not tied by contracts to say nice things about these deals. So please don't think that I am. But if you do think that I am, then take what I say with a grain of salt and turn off the video and do what you want to do. But for those that are still around, we're going to talk about this guy. So this is their outside the waistband holster that has retention. And their retention, I do not know if it's going to show up in here very well at all, but their retention comes from inside, obviously inside the holster. There's a little knuckle thing that sticks up that grabs onto the front of the trigger guard. It's like a little knuckle thing that when you push the pistol into the holster, it basically clicks and it kind of swings around and it grabs only the front. I'm not seeing a way that it could accidentally get in here and trip the trigger. It's just like a little knuckle that goes around and grabs the front of the trigger guard. All right, so when you put it in, I don't know, maybe it'll click. Listen, kind of hear that click. It's in there, it's in there and I'm not sure if there's a way I could mouth this up and do pull-ups on it or whatever. Um, best way to do is find a buddy that, you know, would wrestle with you, whatever, and put this guy on and wrestle around and see if this guy pops out. Because there have been times where good quality holsters and things have, get tossed around on the ground in a roll-around situation and either the optic gets messed up, busted off, whatever, the gun comes out, or this whole thing breaks apart. That's a good way to test out your products and stuff. I don't have anybody right here that's gonna beat me up, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, but to undo this holster, to get the, the pistol out, you see this little knuckle right here in the middle? Basically, if you're looking at it like this, you put your hand down on the pistol, you get a good grip, and basically you come down, I don't know if it'll click, no, it doesn't click, but you just basically push down on that little knob, and that releases that little internal mechanism and you can pull the pistol out so without pushing that little lever down it's not coming out right you push that little lever down it pops right out so it's it's actually not bad i was not expecting this to be quite honest i was not expecting this to be this clean um i was very interested because I, I get sent holsters relatively often relatively often um which are just standard Kydex baked folded holsters. They're all the same. They all do the same thing. There's two screws up here, sometimes only one screw that you tighten to adjust your retention and your retention comes from basically pancaking the gun in the Kydex, basically. 90% of the holsters I get are basically like that. When I saw that they had one of these holsters that actually had retention, that really sparked my curiosity because I was like, how did they go about doing this and will it actually work? So I think this is an interesting design that has potential to work. 
Um, I'm sure it can be broken, like anything, even good stuff can be broken. Um, but we're gonna give it a good fair shake as best we can. The, the cool thing is, I mean, you could adjust more retention up here, make this a little bit tighter, but there's no wobble. This is not a clunky, junky kind of thing in there. There's like no wobble going on. So that's awesome. That's already like, yeah, I like that. That is, that is, that just shows a little bit more attention to detail. They could have made this a lot differently than they did. Um, one little note that I'm, I'm thinking in my head right now as I'm talking about this, this is probably why they do not have a weapon light version of this because of how that retention works. It grabs on the front of the trigger guard. And if you have a light right here, that's not gonna work. So that makes sense why there's no weapon light mount version of this, but not everybody has a weapon light. And sometimes that's good. Sometimes, not good. Sometimes people just don't have a weapon light. They don't need one. Like if you're gonna run the tactical games, if I was gonna do another tactical game, this would make a lot of sense because this has so far, knock on wood, good retention. So it's not gonna accidentally pop out. And then when you need the gun, you can pop it right out. And it's just, it just makes sense. It just makes sense. So anyway, um, that's cool. I'm going to, I'm going to throw this on one of the war belt things that I'm trying out and we'll just, we'll just give it a little look, see how we like it. Um, and then ultimately I'm going to give this guy a good fair shake and, and use it as much as I can. I don't know how long it's going to take to actually get some more use and time with it. And at some point down the road, we'll actually do a review. And especially now, so it's getting colder. It's 32 degrees. It's supposed to be in the teens this week. Most of the time, um, and we're heading into the winter. So cold and kydex plastic generally don't mesh very well stuff gets brittle stuff breaks so it'll be interesting maybe we'll let it freeze outside for a while and see if it breaks snaps if stuff goes bad might be some interesting tests and stuff to do let's throw this on a war belt and i'll show you what it looks like okay so here we go i think i have everything on properly um, they do provide you with a little allen key and an extra nut um, the nut is used on the holster itself you have a screw and a nut that go in and kind of clamp together the the clips basically that run through your belt Tightens everything up. So this is kind of how it looks like. This is a HST, uh, right? HRT, HRT belt that I've got that I'm kind of looking at right now, and I needed a holster for it. So perfect, impeccable timing. Um, so we have the holster set up on here. I might, I'm holster set up. I might need to get it a little bit more forward. But basically, if you just grab the gun and try to pull it out, it doesn't just pull out. Um, so that's nice. It would be nice to have if you're going to run in this kind of setup a little leg strap to keep this thing from popping up. So a strap, that's what those are for. Not just to look cool or whatever, they keep this guy from flapping around too much. But you push you push it down, you get a good grip, and as you do that, you pop that little lever, gun comes right out. That is actually, that's actually not bad, people. Like, that is not a bad setup. I mean, as long as you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, it's an easy, if you know, what you, if you know that you just need to push back on that little pedal, that makes sense. And here's here's a little attention to detail thing. Um, I'm not sure if this really holds water or not, but since you push back on that little lever to get the gun out, that's a very natural motion when you go to grab the gun because you're already trying to get your hand around, right? You're already getting a good grip. That's a natural position to push that little lever. If, for some reason, they wanted you to come in and like, push in on that little button, like push in towards the gun, that could potentially just be something else to not as an er not as much of an ergonomic motion as just pushing down back on that, on that button. Does that make sense? Same thing as if you had to push forward on it. So it's just a little attention to detail thing that I think really does kind of show that Maybe they're thinking about this a little bit better. I mean, it does say that it was designed in the US of A. Um, somewhere else on the box it says it's actually made in China, but it's designed in the USA, which hopefully means it's designed by shooters. I have no idea if that's correct or not. Don't take what I say as gospel on that. But there you go. So that's kind of interesting. That's kind of cool. Um, now I have a, a holster for this setup, so now I can actually run the HRT belt system um because i was looking for a holster for it but that makes sense i might need to adjust it bring it forward just a little bit uh a little bit more that's my more natural position um but yeah so that's kind of that's kind of interesting that's the little outside the waistband panned outside the waistband duty holster from warrior land
All right, if I can, I will link to this product. It might be on Amazon. If it's on Amazon, then I think I can link to it because as far as I know, YouTube is still good to go with Amazon links. Um, but I'll try to do that if I can. I don't think I have a discount code, so sorry about that. But it is what it is. Um, if you guys like this stuff, please do let me know. If you think that I'm spending too much time making videos for these kind of folks and random off the shelf kind of stuff like that, then you can let me know that too. But you know what? Free products, free products, and I think it's kind of cool. Sometimes you run across something that in this case, in this case, I'm not saying it only needs to be used with Airsoft, right? I'm not saying that. I'm saying I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this guy a fair shake, and especially with this colder weather coming up, um, it'll be very interesting and telling to see if this guy uh, shatters, breaks, cracks under that negative, or I would make it into the negatives, but the, at least the teens and the single digits and the nasty cold weather that we get. Be interesting to see how this guy holds up. That's it. Y'all be good to be safe. Appreciate you guys watching, subscribing, and everything. I really do appreciate you guys hanging around. If you've ever used a Warrior Land holster, I would love to get you guys' feedback. Is it positive? Is it negative? Tell people about it. If you have a good experience with them, tell people about it, right? We, the more people that can that can independently testify on products, we can weed out a lot of nasty products, right? If you've had a bad experience with them, let us know so we can warn people away or say, hey, this is actually a good thing. I don't know. I'm a sample group of one or three because I have three holsters. Anyway, that's it. Y'all be good to be safe. Appreciate you. Catch you in the next video. See you.